Hey guys, welcome back to Cherry Hill Farm. We are winding down on the end of our season, as you can tell by these pretty orange pumpkins back here behind me. Um, but yesterday, the guys came out here in this field and cut the strings and pulled the sticks out. We always stake our eggplant because it keeps them up out of the rows. Um, we found out in the first couple years we grew eggplant uh, many years back that if you don't stake your eggplant, this is what your eggplant field will look like. They are a lot stronger than t tomatoes. They're kind of like a little, little tree, very woody. But when they get loaded up with uh, 10 or 15 pounds of eggplant on them, or 20, they uh, look like this. So, especially when they start getting taller because they're indeterminate, they will grow, which means they'll um, grow basically until they run out of gas when there's no more nutrients left or um, the season's daylight affects them. Um, but anyway, we have, we have reached the the end of the profitability of this field and another field across the road. So we cut the strings yesterday, pulled all the stakes out, and there's two more things left to do before we're ready to lift plastic. One is we've got to bush hog all this off because if we come through and lifted the plastic now, it would just be a heck of a mess. And the next thing is we are going to spray it with Gramoxone. Gramoxone is a top burner. It's going to burn all the foliage, everything off the top of the ground. Um, it doesn't technically kill the plant, but that's a disadvantage of it. But the good thing about Gramoxone is in two days, this field will be completely black. It will kill it dead, everything above ground. So let's get this uh, bush hog off, switch to the sprayer, get it sprayed, and uh, Hopefully here in three or four days, we'll be ready to start lifting plastic. Well, I just walked through the middle of this acorn field and I was able to pick three acorn squash. Um, so it is, oh, right here's another one. But it's not, not economical to pay anybody to walk this field and walk every row and try to pick up everything that's left because there's virtually nothing left. Uh, the other squashes we've got, uh, We've still got a little bit of picking left to do on them. But um, this acorn field is all played out, so I'm gonna hit it with the bush hog as well. Always wear your PPE when you're messing with your mock song. Bad news. Well, it's gonna get dark on me before I get to do much spraying. Well, I'm gonna spray, but it's gonna get dark and you won't be able to see me spraying if I tried to video it. So, um, you'll just have to take my word for it. But I uh, hope you're but stay tuned we got a lot coming in the near future um, we're going to be lifting plastic planting strawberries and uh, something not new to this farm but new to this channel um, very soon we'll be combining soybeans you can see they're getting ready to uh, drop their leaves and the pods are starting to dry down and uh, yeah, we've got about 60 acres of soybeans. Um, we lost our squash buyer this year that 
it was unfortunate it wasn't our fault but um, we didn't plant 40 acres of squash so we uh, decided to field land up the soybeans we've got a combine actually got two combines um, and you may get to see them both run but anyway I appreciate you watching um, if you're new to the channel subscribe hit that like button I appreciate it and I will see you next time